In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Ignition Edge on Wago's new Edge computer. Navigate to inductiveautomation.com, click Download Ignition, and select Other Operating Systems. Then scroll down to Linux and click on the Linux Installer 64-bit. You'll have to enter your information here and then click Download. Now we need to copy this run file over to our Edge computer. I'm going to use the shell. You could use Win, SCP, or even FTP this over to your Edge computer. Uh, but I'm just going to SCP this from the shell on my Mac. Once that's copied over, we'll open a browser and we're going to navigate to the Edge computer at Edge port 9090. We're going to log in with root credentials and go immediately to the terminal. Here, I need to navigate to the home Wago directory and I need to chmod to make this executable with chmod plus X. Now I'm going to run this with dot forward slash ignition with the run file. This is going to ask a series of questions. Just follow the defaults if you like, or you can change some of the information here about where it's installed and what services are installed, but I'm going to leave this default. When this completes, it'll ask if you want to start Ignition. Click Yes. And now we can go to a browser and pull up Edge at port 8088. This will be the web browser for Ignition. We'll select Ignition Edge here and it'll install the Ignition Edge service. Now there are just a couple more things to do. We have to agree to the terms of service and then create a username and password. Now after we've created a username and password, it'll ask us if we want to change some of the default ports. We'll leave these default and it will then start the Ignition gateway. Now we have to log in. We're going to do this with the username and password that we just created. And once we're logged in, we're going to go straight to config. We're going to set up now OPC way connection. We'll click OPC connections. Now click create new OPC connection. We'll click next. And I'm going to point this to my Wago PFC 100 that's running Codasys in the Codasys OPC way server. This is going to be opc.tcp at the IP address and port 4840. Now click next. We'll not set up any of the security settings. We'll click finish, call this Wago PFC 100 and create it. Now we're just going to open the design launcher and create a quick visualization for our OPC way tag data. I'm going to sign into the controller now with the username and password that we created earlier. And when this opens, we're going to browse tags. We'll click the plus, browse the devices, and we're going to go to device set codices, and we're just going to pull in the global variables that we have mapped to OPC UA. Bring these into our project, and now I'll create a main window and pull the value of the first tag in. I'll create an LED display. This is going to be uh, angle data from a J1939 incline sensor that I have, and then some values from a thermocouple. We'll map these now to the appropriate values, give them some labels, and there you can see how easy it is to launch Ignition Edge on Wago's Edge computer. Thanks for watching.